Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Esther Tuju and this is my beautiful upcycled DIY sink. You want to build one for yourself? Then please keep watching because I'm about to show you exactly how I did it. So let's talk about this singer machine table. If you saw my previous posts on Instagram when I was fixing up my office, then you'll probably find that it looks familiar. I created a bathroom and a sink in a nook where there was no plumbing before and I used this non-functional table to create a tabletop for the sink but the tile placed above it <coughs> was so tightly fitted in that there's no way we could carry it out when we were leaving so we have to create another tabletop for the sink I need to attach this to this and then I'm going to put a small board at the back which then I'm going to use to attach this onto the wall so that it doesn't move. But uh, first I'm going to do a bit of sanding to smoothen it down and then spray this to make it look new. Gosh, I'm sweating like a thief. This is the first time I was working directly with granite. It was definitely a learning experience for me and it was pretty intimidating to be honest. There were so many new challenges I had to overcome. I drew a straight line across the granite and then I put in a tape so that I could maintain the straight line. I used water also to reduce the amount of dust. This was the first time I was using a grinder and I was so scared because somebody told me the disc would fly off. But it didn't guys. It was so exciting to cut this off. I sanded and sealed this board and then I placed the sink and centered it and then drew a hole in the center where the, the drainage would be. And then I used a hole saw to drill a hole in the center of the board. Of course, after drilling the hole, I went back in and sanded it and then applied the sanding sealer so that it would protect it from the water just in case there would be any leakage in future. So after doing all that work, I realized that I had forgotten about this part of the legs that extends towards the wall, which means that we have a small gap here and so this will not be leaning on the wall. I have to go and cut another piece of wood and put it together. I set the board in the exact position it will be attached to the wall and the top. Set the sink, mark the center and then drill the hole with a whole bit. I then set the granite on top and turned it upside down in order to be able to drill the hole. Didn't happen.
one mistake I realized after I was done is that I did not leave enough space between the sink and the wall for a backsplash. All that's remaining though is just for the, pol uh, for the granite to be polished and for a plumber to come in and fit the drainage. That's it. But making a mistake means I'm learning, right? If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can hit the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on my future videos. And I would love to hear from you. Please leave a note or any questions or queries in the comment section and I will be glad to get back to you on the same. That's all for today. See you next week.